And also, of course, it unlocks the door to entry to the Players Series, the three events, the World Grand Prix, Players Championship, Tour Championship, Big Money, High Prestige, all ranking events as well. There is Lee Walker. Mark's uh, coach, he introduced him to the sight right alignment technique, which certainly has helped uh, Mark's career late on. Helped him win the World Championship, certainly, five years ago. Well, the miss. Yeah, just looking for a thin edge. Mark Selby, four. It was good safety from Selby, wasn't it? Cue ball on the cushion. <coughs> And there you can see Mark's family. Yeah. Oh. Son Joel, the big uh, player himself, uh, improving all the time, it seems. You know, he told me at the Championship League, Mark Williams, that uh, those sort of shots with, he said, my eyesight's going, I can't see them properly. Well, he couldn't have played that any better. <laughs> I mean, I know he missed the first time, but that was just being a bit cautious. But he's caught the edge of the red as intended. The miss. Mark Williams four. Yeah, nothing wrong with you guys. Another great pot. Another thing about it, he came to the table there, obviously could have accepted the miss and put opponent back in trouble, but he didn't even think about it. He just all eyes on the pot today. The intent was clear, as I said before. Seven. That's a magnificent shot. His cue ball has improved out of sight in the last probably six or eight years. He used to have to recycle breaks all the time. But now when he gets in this sort of position, he's so mindful of a tight cue ball. Yes, and I mentioned the Championship League there. That was the first tournament of the season. Some people sort of dismiss it, but he got to the final, so he played 10 matches in pretty short succession. Just sharpened 30. him up, I think, because he spent a lot of the summer on the golf course, but it's like a uh, good early season practice, if nothing else. He's carried 14. that on clearly into this week. Nineteen. Twenty. Yeah, lovely control again. Now let's see if he makes a play on the bunch because he's fast running out of options. It might be worth the risk. Probably not on balance, you just never know with him, but 
Yeah. Just trying to build the frame. See, because he has the pink potentially to right 25. middle, that would have, I think, made the call for him. He's coming around to have a look at it now. Obviously can't, being too straight, but black... Yes, it'd be difficult, but it's decent percentage if he plays it dead weight. 26. <coughs> Boy, this is a tough shot. He's going to have to work the cue ball in some way. Pace, precision, everything was there. The simplest of shots, but boy, what a shot it was. And now he's well set. 34. Worth another look. What a shot. Yeah, so... That missed green from Mark Selby 41. in frame one. It was a definite chance for him. He only needed a couple of pots to win the frame. And it's helped give Mark 42. Williams the early advantage. He's looking very confident. Yeah, so looking for the coup de grace in this frame into the bunch this time. Just right of the pink. Just missed the pink. Oh, he got it half full. Needs help. Mm, not brilliant, but he's on one in a fashion. 47. In actual fact, it might not be that bad because the brush cannon off the other red might get him onto the black. Fifty-five. It was a nice little split, wasn't it? Hoping for something better than this, but... Yeah, it was never easy, that. Mark Williams, 55. But an excellent break.
How often do you ever see Mark Selby in a position in matches where it feels like he's got to and quite quickly turn into the aggressor? That's what's happening at the moment. He's kind of treading water out there. He's not getting anywhere because of the quality of Mark Williams. Well, everything, basically. Yeah, the last ball he potted in this match was the yellow in the first frame. It's now 35 minutes ago. But we know he's patient. You know, he's looking for a way in with good safety, looking for a clear-cut chance to potentially steal this frame. And just halt the Williams charge early on in this match. Okay, now here it is. This is where I'm saying he's got to be the aggressor. He's got to take a bit of a risk here. Doesn't have an easy return to the ball end. He's got to make a play on this. And he's got to get the pot. Not an easy shot at the best of times, but David said... 36 minutes and counting now. As he knocked a, r a red in. Oh, super shot. One. That's unfortunate. But for the near jaw in the middle pocket, it would have been fine, I think. He's got nothing on here, so it's back to defensive duty for the moment. Brown ball. Sorry, green. Mark Selby, one. What a pot to find. He missed the blue by a hair, half a hair. Mark Williams, one. <laughs> yeah, Mark Selby, who makes it so hard for so many. He's just being schooled a little bit right now, isn't he? He's banging trouble here. 55 behind, 67 on. Snooker behind the green. escape so two options neither easy oh what a pot that is 
Yes, he hedged his bets, but it was the smart play. You wouldn't expect anything else, mind you. This black for 3-0. Or you would expect 3-0, you know, but... Eight. Yeah, shades of semi-final against Hossein. Completely out of sorts for parts of the match, but then just clicked into gear. Eleven. Yeah, Mark Selby's not getting easy chances, is he? Potted that red there in this frame. Twelve. Land on the colour. He needs to try find a way in early in a frame and get some table time above anything else. Still plenty of time, but right now Mark Williams looking very confident. Nineteen. Twenty. He was great friends with the late Doug Mountjoy. In fact, Doug, in his later years, used to go in Mark's club and have a, a knock every afternoon. And he won two ranking events back to back at the age of 46. 28. Mark Williams is 48. If he wins today, he'll be the second oldest ever winner of a ranking event behind another Welsh great, Ray Reardon, who was 50. And he won one in 1982. For Doug, it was a last hurrah, 35. but Mark Williams clearly in great shape as he approaches 50 himself. 37. <laughs> 40. So Mark Williams has dominated the last two frames. Mark Selby cannot find a way in in this final. Williams making the early running, leading by three frames to nil.
Welcome back. So we've got one more frame before the Thank first interval of the British Open final. Mark, Mark Williams, Williams leads Mark Selby 3-0. And in the last two frames, Selby has potted one ball. Yes, earlier in the match, frame one, there was a green that Mark Selby missed there. There it is there. Just needed green and brown to take the opening frame. You always look for turning points. It was so early in the match, but a key moment. That was certainly one. This first four frames since then, he hasn't had a, a look, really. things today is kind of going wrong. Red finds the gap. Not so much a key frame, this, because they all count the same, don't they? The one before the first interval, obviously, but it would give Mark that breathing space, Mark Williams. Obviously, 4-0 in front, it means that, well, you would think he would, some sort of lead coming out this evening. There's a long way to go before any of that's decided, obviously, but... Five. Take the red on at the back of the bunch. But yeah, just talking about the breathing space, a big frame. It's a sort of match where it might be vital to just have that for a time. Off he goes then. He's he's taking it on. Boy, what a risk this is. I can't believe he's playing the pot. Oh, that is, that, that's ridiculous, to be honest. Needs another good one on the black. For all we talk about the techniques involving snook and nerve is the number one asset 13. really of any great champion. Fourteen. Twenty one. Even when he makes a mini mistake, he's got an alternative straightish red to far right corner.
Mark Williams, 22. It was hard fought that break, wasn't it? Eventually, it has ended. But, you know, he's just not leaving easy starters, which maybe Selby needs right now. I mean, it's still relatively early, but clearly that pot success for Selby's got to go up considerably. It's not done there. <coughs> One of those, I guess, if he's 3 0 up, you sort of fancy it more. He's under pressure just to get in and get involved. Yeah, the problem now, the red near the pocket. Neither obviously wants to leave it. Confess it does look uh, left hand red of the two. Any sort of decent contact on it, you'd be busy not potting it. It's just finding that contact. Risks already have paid off in this match so far. <coughs> yeah, perhaps that was just one too many. And you can't, you can, not being critical at all, it was, there was lots of value. So, Time for Mark Selby to join the party.
One. We must always also remember you're dealing with a guy here who's the best there's ever been at playing when he's behind in matches. Eight. He doesn't like the short bridge. He was forced into it there because he couldn't cue off the cushion. 16. It's something that he really has to do. Yeah, he was forced into it there and he doesn't like it. He's not able to deliver through impact the same and get the, the juice on the, the cue ball, the underspin that he was looking for. This, this pocket again, not a certainty this, not by any means. Well, that'll make him feel good. Good recovery. This British Open, it was the first tournament he ever played in back in 1999. He was only 16, he turned professional. Beat Wayne Brown, 5-4. 5-4, you'll note. So it was there from the off, the hard-fought matches. But again, he's lost the cue ball here. Cue ball just glanced 24. off the reds. Now this is a struggle for Selby to put anything meaningful together. Mark Selby, 24. <coughs> he just acknowledges it looks like he's got away with that. But a visit that promised quite a lot in the end didn't deliver. And that's been the story really of the match for Selby so far. It's a bad mistake. A very bad one. Coming from Mark Selvey's cue. He's been just he's been given the run around. He's a wee bit bemused at what's going on. 
the moment. He, he just can't lay a glove on Mark Williams at all in this match. No, everything just seems difficult for Selby right now. And if he's starting to miss hit safeties, that's a concern. It's one thing not to be able to, you know, get clear-cut scoring chances, but if tackle the game, he's not on song, then he's got problems. He maybe needs the interval to regroup. It's not 4-0 yet, but Williams with his chance to Four. establish a dream lead, really, at this stage of the final. Eight. Might just be the wee bit of help that Mark Selby needs at the moment. It's to halt uh, the Williams charge. Mark Williams, eight. Yeah, the three ball plant to right middle looks on, so can't play the mark just coming round to have a look at it. Looks virtual certainty, doesn't it? It is. Gets Q through the gap, so this is makeable, certainly. But no, what damage it could be plenty. All the smiling and laughing and joking at the start that uh, seems a long time ago now, doesn't it? Selby looking very concerned. But now this is a chance. A red hanging on the lip, not dropping. 
Yeah, he looked at it before and he sort of thought, ooh, I don't really like the look of this. That tells you how sharp and tight these pockets are playing. Yeah, he didn't catch it perfectly. It's the first sort of conventional scoring chance, I think, that Mark's had all afternoon. Apologies, I keep saying Mark. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a pretty good chance this. It looks Eight. like the red in the middle of them is on as well. Yeah, just to release the other two. Nine. Didn't quite manage it, so lots of work to be done to win the frame at this visit. Plant on though. Two ball plant to left corner, which will keep. good again and he's been mindful here of not showing out his disappointment he, inside he'll be gutted that he's not nicely on a red but he can't show out he can't show concern to his opponent above all It's so interesting this with these two because he, like I say, he, he's got a show here that he's pretty cool with what's just happened, but he's not inside, he'll be fuming. Mark Selby, 16. Yeah, he took a moment, didn't he, before playing that shot, just took a moment to so Celine Woodley calm himself such a big moment at the final this it's still early days but clearly Selby wants to establish himself on the scoreboard Dear, Fall. that is a Nemesis. bad error. Mark Selby, this won't be put back. Chance then for Selby, 14 in front. All the reds in play here. Starts with a good pot. One. He's experienced enough, of course, in long matches to know that there are passages where Eight. you might be struggling to get in, you might be struggling with your game, but there's time for things to change. Nine. It's about taking these opportunities. He glances at the scores and knows that pink, red, black should be enough. Sixteen. the round of applause for the ball that gets Selby to the snooker's required stage. And if this red goes in, he's definitely on the scoreboard. 
Yeah, an important 24. visit. Mark Williams has made the running in the final, but the final itself has a long, long way to go yet. Still possible 15 frames to play, and you do feel there won't be much in it at the end. Mark Williams has done the scoring. He had that 110 clearance in the second frame, 31. dominated the third, had a chance in this one. Thirty-three. Forty. Well, I guess the 40. engraver can put the first name on the trophy already, but in terms of the surname, could be late tonight before we find out who's the British Open champion in 2023. We promised you a battle. That's what it's been so far. And it's been joined in this fourth frame by the four times world champion, Mark Selby. 51. Very interesting first four frames of this final. Mark Williams won the close opening frame, dominated the next two, did have chances in the fourth. Mark Selby will be relieved that he got in and made that important 51 break to put himself on the scoreboard. So at the first interval, Williams leads Selby by three frames to one. <laughs> 